Hi, this is Jeff Tate, and I hope you subscribe to the Border City Rock Talk. It's awesome. Hey, how are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing good. Doing good. That's recovering awesome. Recovering from my birthday, actually. What? I'm recovering from my birthday. Oh, you're recovering. When was your birthday? Was it yesterday? Uh, it was the 14th. <laughs> So it's a nine day recovery period. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> did you, did you uh, get into the vineyard in your backyard uh, there with no, your wine? I, I think I just uh, I had a lot of uh, good fun with uh, some of my close friends, and uh, the next day I woke up and I had the flu. <laughs> oh, so I'm just recovering, and I'm trying to get back in the saddle, so to speak. Right on, and you need to because you're starting a tour. Uh, coming up with what, you're probably my favorite guitar player. I got to be honest with you. Was Ad is Adrian Vandenberg, and uh, I've interviewed him a few times. Um, how did that tour come about? Like, I know you're in Europe a lot um, with your tour. You're very, very big, um, as a, you know, North America, obviously, but Europe for sure. How did uh, the tour come together with you and Adrian? Like, that's going to be quite a bill. Well. Uh I wish I had a more exciting story, but honestly, I were man managed by the same um, agent, you know, who books our shows, and our agent thought it would be a nice fit for North America, and so he put us in contact with each other, and we worked out the details, and you know, so we're we're going to be playing together, which is great because I've I don't think I've ever met the man, you know, so I'm looking forward to hearing him play and meeting him and seeing what he's all about. Wow, I mean. Everybody knows him um, from White Snake and the famous "Here I Go Again" guitar solo, but his stuff uh, previous to that's just just insane. So everybody, get your tickets. I'm gonna have links down at the bottom to see him. It starts what February 26th in Clearwater. I, yeah, I think so. You probably know better than I do. I just looked it up a minute ago, so maybe I do. <laughs> and and how many shows are in that run roughly? Is about uh, you go for about a month and a half or a month? Yeah, I think it's uh, again. Or as I don't know. I think it's a month and a half, something like that, yeah. Okay. Um, and then you're going to be doing some a show up in Canada, part of the, uh, in Toronto, the El Mocambo. Have you played there before? Um, not that I know of. Okay, it's a very famous um, rock venue. That's part of your big rock show hits um, tour. And actually, speaking of Canada, I just came across, and I didn't realize that you spent time up in Montreal writing Operation Mindcrime in that restaurant. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a restaurant then, it was a bar. Yeah. Okay. So they're closing, yeah. unfortunately, but I mean, wow. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Like uh, the St. Sulpice, I think it's yeah. called. Yeah, it's closing after years and years and years. Yeah. Wow, that's too bad. Everything closes, doesn't it? It's crazy. Everything's going online. <laughs> yeah. Pretty soon they're going to be able to uh, email you your meals. So, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, before I forget, um, you vote, right? Oh, I have, yeah. Okay, good. We talk politics. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> You'll see. Anyways, um, I got a question for you. Um, Chris DeGarmo, um, I'm a big fan of, uh, obviously. Um, now, here's the scenario. If, say, me and you were to fly from L.A. to Chile, who would you rather pilot the plane? Me, you, or Chris DeGarmo? Well... Chris, because he's a professional pilot and has been trained. I don't okay. know about you. <laughs> yeah. And no, I know I haven't. <laughs> I don't even know if um, you'd want to be in a plane with me, let alone piloting it. But yeah. So uh -huh. when you were going solo, when um, you left Queensryche, and actually, I got to be honest with you, I think you have a more, more of a following. I know you have more of a following than um, your former bandmates in Queensryche. But anyways, was there any thought about uh, bringing Chris in to play guitar? Uh, no. No, no, Chris and I, we had 30 years, you know, of uh, creating real interesting music. And I'm very proud of what we did together. And, uh, you know, I think we gave that uh, we gave that chemistry a really good run, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I wish him luck in his endeavors and and uh, I hope things work out well for him. Well, that's awesome. Awesome to hear. Um, and then here's a, something I w I'm curious about. <clears throat> Um, with Kieran leaving the band, I was shocked as I'm pretty sure most fans of uh, Jeff Tate's and, and Kieran Robertson were shocked. Um, 
we, we're, we're kind of under, we don't, I don't understand why he, he left because I don't think LA guns would attract as much attention as Jeff Tate would. Oh, he's playing with LA guns. That's what I heard. Or oh. Faster Pussycat, one of the two. Sorry, I forget. I get that. Well, I think it's Faster Pussycat, yeah. Okay, sorry, guys. Yeah, um, yeah so, I mean, w there was no falling out. Obviously, he left on good terms, because I think I've seen the press release by both you and him. Yeah. About his departure. So, yeah, I, I just um was just curious if there's any insight on onto why he chose that. But I, I guess it's just a business decision. Yeah, I don't know. He, he wanted to go do other things, and... Uh... We've we've always been kind of open about uh, having people uh, if they want to go do other things, peace, you know, let it happen. Yeah, and you and you you actually you draw a lot of musicians from Europe. I believe you have. Mark That's where I saw that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, so who's in the band? Let people know um, who's in the band right now, just to give them some credit as well, because they don't usually get the credit that they deserve, obviously. In my touring band at the moment? Yeah. Let's see. For the upcoming shows, I have to think about who is in right now. Um, okay, on, on lead guitar, we have Omri Altmaier, who's a wonderful uh, Frenchman guitar player. And we have uh, Dario Parente from Italy on lead guitar. Uh, we have uh, Jack Ross. Yeah, Jack and bass. From, uh, from Scotland. Uh, Danny uh, Laverde from Cincinnati. <laughs> uh, and we have uh, James Brown on guitar from Ireland. Yeah. Is, is there a reason why you, you generally, um, not generally, but I mean, it's just the course of... Um your touring lineup there's been a lot of europeans is there any certain reason or um I, if there is i don't know what it is it's you know, just it's kind people... of one of those interesting things that you can look at from the outside and say okay an american icon in the music industry but mostly carries european lineup members so i mean i just found i don't it. really i don't really see like much of a difference okay between like an italian or an american a frenchman I, I'm at a, a point, I guess, where I just don't think about um, nationality so much, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know. I don't even hear the accents anymore. Is that right? Yeah, I just, I, for some reason, I guess maybe I'm just used to it or something. I, I don't know. Well, it's probably because you're in Europe all the time. Perhaps, yeah. Not all the time, but a, a good amount of time, yeah. So anything new that uh, the viewer and maybe some other outlets um, haven't, uh, don't know about anything you're doing? Um, are you working on any music, any kind of um, re-release or anything like that coming up? Or is it just right now you're um, focusing on touring? The only thing I'm working on musically is um, I have a, my third album with um, this, uh, what's it called? Sweet Oblivion. I've yeah. done two records. Uh, under that title, and this is my third one, and we're just kind of getting started on it right now, and so that's pretty much where my head's at at the moment is working on that, and then of course getting ready for the upcoming tours, you know. Right, right on. Well, I don't want to keep you much longer. Um, just let the viewers know we had some technical difficulties, um, but we fixed them. We wanted to make sure that everybody could see Jeff's face um, rather than a plastered picture of them um yeah. is there oh by the way make sure you guys check the links below for his merch i couldn't believe what what are you not selling jeff i mean you, you're selling jack knives ac auto adapters um i i think hmm. i even saw some nunchucks maybe not nunchucks but <laughs> <laughs> who's in charge of that i mean that's uh there's a lot of good stuff by the way oh yeah it's we try to pick quality things yeah because right you know you need a good you need a good set of nunchucks you know. Yeah, yeah, and in that training bra, Operation Mindcarn training bra. I mean, who doesn't want to get one of those? Yeah, absolutely a necessity. <laughs> All right, Jeff. So, uh, favorite Canadian uh, band, past or present? Canadian band. Um, yeah. Rush. Yeah. <laughs> he says Rush. We've got more than Rush and maple syrup and snowballs. Yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? From Canada. What about <laughs> Scott Moulton? Scott, he's no, he's not really a band, is he? No. Um, he could be. 
<laughs> I mean, I a said, band of one. <laughs> I should have said uh, band or artist. So yeah, okay. So Rush, yeah, we get it. We get it. Everybody likes Rush. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Um, opposite of unsubscribe. Subscribed. Yeah. Everybody do as Jeff Tate says and subscribe to the channel for these great interviews. Uh, check out the links below for all the shows. Make sure you get some merch. Um, pretty sure um, if you whatever you need, it's probably there with Operation Mindcrime on it. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for your time, Jeff. Thanks, Ernest. I'm glad we worked out our uh, technical stuff because we're smart. See you that's, next time, okay? That's right. Yeah, YouTube is a blast. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right. Take care now. Bye.